Let's get to it and welcome the Republican presidential nominee, Donald Trump. He's been on hold since the start of the podcast. Mr. Trump, are you still standing by? Well, of course I'm standing by. Oh excellent, my excellent. God. So did you hear the entire show with the big three? I did, I did. Well, it was the first big three show in quite some time. What did you think? I thought it went really well. I yeah, am I did too. Honored. Any thoughts on how you think it went? I know you're on hold listening to it with your staff, but it moved pretty fast, I felt. I thought it was very interesting. I know a lot of people wished it was much longer, and it did go fast. I will say, from my standpoint, you know, an hour and a half sounds like a long time. It went so fast, you know, 20 minutes, 20, it just kept, I can't believe it kept this. going so fast, and, and I was impressed by that. That meant I enjoyed it, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's always the way these podcasts go. People just can't get enough of the big three, and they wish the podcast could go on and on. Mr. Trump, did you see what I sent you on Twitter? Whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on, Perry. Hang on, Perry. We'll get to that. Mr. Trump's very short on time. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry about that, Mr. Trump. Perry, why don't you ask him something about the podcast? Ask him something about today's podcast if you heard how you were treated. Mr. Trump, did you hear the way those assholes treated me? Well, look, you know, I feel that if somebody's mistreating you or if somebody's treating you badly in this case, you know, constantly, I mean, just sorry. Mr. Trump, it happens all the time. It's been happening for the past 24 years. Yeah, well, I'm sure Mr. Trump knows about that. I mean, uh, there was even a big three movie called Windy City Heat. Uh, I've seen it. I mean, I've <laughs> oh my seen it. God. Well, obviously, you're a fan of Perry, but what do you think about Don and Mole? I like those two guys a lot. I think they're terrific guys. Oh, God. There are a couple of punks. Well, hold on there, Perry. Mr. Trump, as you know, Perry gets a little excitable when the big three are together. I'll be honest with you. It wasn't easy getting Perry to do the podcast today. He thought it was a mistake, if you can believe that. No, it's no mistake. Everyone's liking it. I think they're liking it. Mr. Trump, they may like it, but with all the shit I have to go through with Don and Mole... And let me ask you, do you not like that? I don't like it at all. Well, the good news, Mr. Trump, is that Perry will be back next week for another Big Three appearance, and I think the shout-out money will keep him happy. Now, they did 21 shout-outs on today's podcast by my count, and you heard all those, obviously. Now, I'm thinking they might have even more next week, maybe 25 to 50. Does that sound about right to you, Mr. Trump? I think the answer is yes, and I think even more than that. Yeah, you know, you might be right. In fact, they might have so much, it'll just be wall-to-wall shout-outs the entire show. I don't think that's that unusual, though. That's been done before, hasn't it? I think so, yeah. There were a couple of Big Three podcasts where a lot of shout-outs came in. Mr. Trump, can I ask you something? <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. All right, uh, Mr. Trump, Perry has a question. Hang on. Tell him about the time you met him and his family at the, uh, at the car show in Long Beach. Mr. Trump, I met you and your family at a car show in Long Beach. They are fantastic. Yeah, they're good. They're good. I watched Derek last night on television. And different shows. He, he's fantastic. Don is great. These guys, uh, they, they, my children have done so well. I mean, so well. It's, uh, it's, really, it's really nice. And Ivanka is getting ready to do a lot. Well, it's funny you should mention Ivanka. Perry had a few things to say about her, but we won't get into that. Perry brought this up earlier, and I cut him off. But as you know, Mr. Trump, Perry has been doing some reporting lately. So if you have any questions, he's the guy to ask. Yes, thank you. Let me ask you, I hear I'm doing very well in Ohio. Is that, a, is that a fact? Mr. Trump, that's a fact. You're doing fantastic in Ohio. You're, you're doing great in the polls. And that was fairly recently, right? Yeah, I saw it on Fox News today. Well, let's talk about the election a little bit. As you know, Mr. Trump, Perry will not be voting, but he has been reporting. So, Perry, why don't you ask a question about the election of Mr. Trump? Um, ask him... Uh, Ask him why people think he's a jerk and why Hillary is so great. People are saying so much shit about you. They're all lies. It's all bullshit. Where do they get off saying that Hillary's a good person and you're a jerk? No, the opposite. She is. Uh, if you look at her and you listen to the Secret Service agent that wrote the book, uh, she's a mess, a total mess. Exactly. And uh, she'll do an event and then you don't hear from her. Because she's a scumbag. Uh, she goes home, she goes to sleep. Uh, you uh, you do, uh, you, you follow her, just follow where she goes and, you know, she'll, she'll see, uh, she'll do an event, she'll make a short speech off a teleprompter. And uh, then she goes home and goes to sleep. That's funny. That's exactly what Perry was supposed to do today. But instead, he went to Costco and moved furniture. But, Mr. Trump, I know you have to go. But one more question from Perry. Ask him what he'll do if Hillary steals the election. 
What are you going to do if that bitch steals the election from you? Um, it's something I don't even think about, you know. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Let's stay positive. Well, it was great hearing from you, Mr. Trump. Thank you. Mr. Trump, it was an honor. An honor. Listen, take care of yourself. I have to go. Just be good and keep up the good show, and I'll do it again very soon. <laughs> wow, we'd love to have you back. Thank you so much, Mr. Trump. Take care. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> I'm speechless.